Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, here I am doing a stupid bit. Oh my god, I did a couple of these. Wow. Anyway, so we're gonna start the makeup. I went ahead and glued down my brows and then set it with just some white setting powder. Um, don't know what I got up for, but well, I'm back now, so I'm gonna oh, not another bit. Anyway. We're going to start putting down uh, the basic blocking out of how I'm going to reshape my face. So first, I like to go in with the concealer, then my kind of just neutral skin tone, um, and then the contour. Uh, and so I kind of just lather that on wherever I need it, and then I look absolutely wild until I start blending. Uh, so I just kind of blend that out with uh, a beauty sponge, you know, like everybody does. Make it nice and blendy. I used to do, like, really hard lines on my face because, you know, baby queen inspired by Miss Trixie Mattel, etc. No, it doesn't work for my face. I'm just, like, it's, I have so many hard edges already, and I just want to look like a doll. So I blend it out, and I look all soft and pretty. Oh, God, not me trying to do a little makeup review with my Target products. Anyway, now I'm gonna add some color to my contour with this painting cream palette because I hate having natural contour. I wanna be like pink or red or purple or some shit. So I'm adding some purple, doing my little jaw contour because I have a very square jaw, so I'm trying to kind of like lift that up, make it a little bit more feminine. Um, so now I'm just blending out all those creams that I just added. Uh, a little bit about where I put my contour, I kind of lift it up really high, like almost above my cheekbones. I have really high cheekbones already, just naturally, and I have a very like square face. So I found that bringing the, the blush and the contour right up to my eyes, it like into the outer corner of my eyes, it really helps like the shape of my face. I just like it better that way. Um, so anyway, now I'm adding some dimension, like some light pink around the outside and some really dark purple on the inside. Continuing with just blocking out all of the shapes on my face, I'm going in with some of the details, like uh, these little kind of rosy cheeks, but I do them in different colors like every time I do it. So this time they're purple. Um, and here I am starting to outline the shape of my eye until I realize that I like to go with the white first so that I don't muddy it up. So now you can see me using, I think it's a Krylon white, yeah. And I'm just kind of blocking out the shape of the eye and where I want it to be. A lot of my makeup is blocking shit out, planning, because I don't like to be doing it for very long. I'm probably like 15 minutes in at this point, and I want to know where shit's going to go, and I don't want to fuck it up. So anyway, now I'm adding the eyeshadow color so today i wanted to do orange so i'm blocking that out with some cream color uh just kind of blocking that around where i want the shape to go yes blend that shit out with your finger drag it down the nose get an idea for that nose contour i just love to block down the shapes so that i know where they're going and i also it allows me to feel the fantasy as soon as possible Anyway, adding some dimension here, some darker color in the inner part of the eye, and some lighter colors in the outer part of the eye, blending all of that out to make, like, a really nice, just, like, seamless little, like, orange smoky eye, like a sunset with the purples. Oh, okay. I'm already, I'm feeling it. I'm recording this, like, three weeks later, and I'm feeling it. Anyway, okay, so... Now, blocking out where the brow bone is gonna go. So what I do here is I take the white and I kind of almost make like a white unibrow. So I, on the outside of the unibrow, I'm blocking out where I want the brow bone to be. Here I'm doing kind of like a droopy, sad eye. And then in the middle, I just kind of connect the two, fill it all in with white, blend it all out. And the reason that I connect the two there is so that then I can just kind of go in with my beauty blender, blend out the white in the middle, and then I have this really nice line for the eyebrows and a really nice highlighted spot in the middle with the white. It all works out great. It's so nice. Here I'm going back in with some white and cleaning up that line, which is honestly redundant because I do it again later. I haven't even powdered or put any eyeshadow down, so I'm going to have to clean up this line again later, but I do it now anyway. Add some contour to my nose. I usually just bring in whatever color I'm using for the uh, like the cheek contour, the blush color into my nose. So today I was doing purple, so I add a little bit of purpley pink to my nose, touch everything up. 
And then I think that we're kind of done blocking out the top half of the face. We did the brows, we did the contour, we did the eyes. Obviously at the end, I'm gonna have like eyeliner and everything, but there's no point in putting that on before I even powder down this cream makeup. So I think now it's time to go into the lips. Yeah, that's right. So lips are a whole process in themselves for me because if you smudge it, if you fuck it up, you have to restart, it sucks. So I use this like light brown cream so that if I have to like smudge anything out, it doesn't, like if you're using a red cream and then you fuck it up, it's gonna be there. The brown, it kind of, you know, it, it, it matches the skin tone a little bit. So if I fuck it up, it's okay. Um, but so I kind of just outline the whole shape of the lip that I want to do. One of the most important things about this type of lip is that on the sides, you want it to go up and out, not down and out. Well, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I've just found that if when you do it like kind of down and out, it looks a little bit droopy and like unpolished, I guess. I don't know. I just really don't like the way that that looks. So I kind of try to make it go up and out so it's more pointed. But anyway, that's a whole nother thing that you just have to adapt to your face. Like, it's not going to work on the first try because you're literally reshaping your face. And sometimes the angles, it just doesn't work. But uh, so here I, I'm going in and adding color to my lips. Now that I have the outline, it's a lot easier to uh, go in with the actual color that I want to use and not draw outside the line. You know, we all learn to draw inside the lines in like third grade. But uh, <laughs> anyway... Going in now with some black to really define the shape that I wanted to do. I'm going to go in over this with liner later, but like I said, I really just like to get all the colors down that I'm gonna be using so that I have a really nice template. And then once I powder it and start going in with eyeshadow and eyeliner, it's just easy, smooth sailing. So I finished all of the base, you can kind of get an idea. I don't know what I'm saying here, but I thought that this would be a good angle to kind of see what the makeup actually looks like instead of just like me staring down at my computer. Not computer, it's a mirror. Anyway, here's me with powder all over my face. Ooh, gorgeous. Brushing all that shit off because it's nasty. I think I'll get canceled or fined or something if I tell you what setting powder I use, so I'm just not gonna. Anyway, moving in with eyeshadow now to really amplify those colors that were already there. You can see I'm going in with some oranges and some reds to really just buff out where I had that template and make it look really blended and colorful. And this is when I become an insufferable monster because I start to feel it. Look at that difference! I just start to feel it so hard. I'm like, ooh, I did the other eye. Look at her. Oh my god, look at her. Oh, you can't tell her anything! Doing the same thing now with the lips. Uh, this part is a little bit more awful because I don't use a lipstick on my lips. I use eyeshadow. And here's the thing. Sometimes it's fine. I don't notice a difference. You know, like, crusty lips who? It just, it doesn't make a difference. However, <laughs> there are some times when I use the eyeshadow on the lips that it just makes it so crusty and gross and I can't do anything. What's stupid also is that I literally have a lip shade in this color, so I don't know why I didn't use it, but I didn't. So <laughs> now adding black shadow to the eyes like I did with the lips to kind of like tie them together, add a nice cohesive design moment for this whole face and just add a lot of dimension to the eye shape. I love a black shadow. I'll go in with a black shadow on everything, constantly, forever. Anyway. I think I'm touching it up with the white now. Yeah, I got. I just went in with all that black, and so it really bled into the middle. Look at her. Oh my god, I'm in, insufferable. Oh. <laughs> and, oh my god, bitch, what the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> I touched up the white inner part to make it a more clean line, uh, blending all this out with a tiny little brush for... Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I do is I go in with liner and then immediately with a little uh, brush is I, I take the brush and then I rub the liner out so that it, it makes it nice and um, 
clean, smoky. I don't want like hard lines. Uh, once again, touching up the white. I tell you, I touch up the white like four times. I really just need to do it once at the end, but I do it constantly. Whatever, set it with white powder. I think I'm just using white eyeshadow from one of my palettes here. Hi. Um, doing the same thing for the lips, touching it up with that liner. Um, like I said, I was going to earlier. Oh, and now it's the fun part when I get to go in and actually do the eyeliner part of using eyeliner, you know, where it goes on my eye. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, I use the liner first. I use this kind of like a uh, felt tip liner from Target for to just like block out the shape of the liner. Yes. Look at her go with those clean lines. You can't see it, but the panic in my eyes is real. You can't see it because my eyes don't move. They're just painted on, but I don't know what I was trying to say there. Anyway, fill it in. Fill in the black liner. Um, really start to feel that doll eye fantasy. Yes, mama work, honey, sis. Um powder that down with black eyeshadow because you don't want any crusty little bits of your eyeshadow or no of your eyeliner coming off i especially have hooded eyes real bad so they get crazy oh look at that here we go come on eyebrow that's it draw that shit on boo 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 bam done eyebrows done i don't give two thoughts to eyebrows oh is she excited are we done oh no no we got we got blush Blushing it up, I think that I usually just have this palette where there's, like, these purples and pinks right next to each other. So I just blend through the whole fucking thing and just go ham in it. I I don't want... Oh, I just love to be colorful. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got some uh, touch-ups. Not touch-ups, but, like, little, little details, little highlights with a white gel liner to give it that really kind of, like, cartoon look. I add it to my lips, little dots on my cheeks, my nose, um, also on my eyebrows. I do a little white line under the black line because it's all about balance. Like when you're using crazy colors and contrasting shapes and uh, shades like this, you have to you have to balance it out. So having a crazy black line followed by a crazy white line, it just and then all of like the white highlights everywhere else and the black in the lips, it just, it makes it balance nicely because each of these parts individually would just like look fucking insane. Um, I don't know what I'm saying here, but it's probably something stupid. Oh, I'm, I'm setting spray. Oh yeah, I said something stupid. I'm absolutely sure that I did. Oh my God, look at her. Get your glove on, girl. You look so good. Y'all like this wig? I styled it myself. Very proud of it. Um, look at her. Oh my God, those lashes. They're so big. I think that I, yeah, when I edited this, I thought about just leaving this part as like her talking, me talking. Hey girl. Um, but I was saying some dumb shit, so I decided against that. But anyway, we're going to go into a little montage now. Thanks. Wow. Uh, look at her run. Damn, she walking next to some old man. Love it. Come on, neighborhood fish. Anyway, so if y'all watched this whole thing, thanks for watching. I really appreciated it. I'm just gonna run through my neighborhood, terrorize some children, walk off into the sunset. Beboop bop, bitch. Love it. Thanks. Love you. Bye.